So let's try something different. If we want to switch from a band stop filter to a band pass filter, we can switch these two components from series to parallel. Now, I'm actually going to switch back to the smaller capacitor here, but I want my inductor and my capacitor this time to be in parallel. So let's take a look at this and see what we end up with. So let's start off at a low frequency, and we can see that with this low frequency, we have a much smaller output than our input. Now, if we increase that frequency, we should slowly start to see this increase. And we have to zoom in again until about 50 kilohertz. Now, past 50 kilohertz, if we continue to increase, then our output amplitude is going to start to decrease. And it'll keep doing that as we continue to increase our frequency. Now, an important thing to look at here is something called the bandwidth. The inductor and the capacitor together tell us what the center frequency is. In this case, that 50 kilohertz. What the resistor does for us is it tells us how fast that frequency changes our output amplitude. So the point that we're looking at is whenever our output amplitude is three decibels lower than our input. I've done the math and what this comes out to for us is right around 141, 143, somewhere around there, uh, millivolts for our channel two. So if we increase our frequency until this reads 141, 142, then this is going to be one of our two frequencies for the bandwidth. So the upper frequency is 170 kilohertz. Now, if we go on the other end, we have to go all the way down to 15 kilohertz in order to get to that 141, 142 millivolts range. So that's a frequency of 170 minus 15, which is right at 155 kilohertz. Now, I told you that the resistor changes our bandwidth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out this one kilo ohm resistor with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And the resistor should not change our center frequency at all. It did mess with our amplitude here a little bit, but that's all right. Now at 50 kilohertz, our output amplitude is at 171 millivolts. Now, if I take three decibels below that, we end up with about 121 millivolts. So that's gonna be the key point that we're looking at here. So I'm gonna decrease my frequency until we hit 121, which is right at 41.5, 41 point, yeah, let's call it 41 and a half kilohertz. And then I can increase on the other side to get to 121, which I'm going to call 60.5. Close enough. So that is a frequency range of 60.5 minus 41.5. which is 19 kilohertz. So increasing the resistance by a factor of 10 roughly decreased our bandwidth by about a factor of 10. And that's how this works for this configuration.